Hey guys, today's workout is all about glute activation. If you've been following me and you saw my vlog on six months to 50, you'll know that I've been fighting with lower back pain. So I've been doing a lot of work on strengthening my glutes because I feel like my quads have really taken over. Women tend to be quad dominant and I feel like my quads are, have become so strong that they've basically been um, compensating for, for my glutes and my glutes have become a little bit lazy and they're not firing that well. So wanted to share with you all the work that I've been doing, a um, little bit different work. It's targeted glute work, isolated glute work. We're working on strength and endurance, so quite a few reps. And what we're doing today is a mobility circuit that's gonna serve as a warm up. It's gonna be six moves. Each move is 30 seconds and um, designed to fire up those glutes and get them ready for the work to come. And the work is gonna be a mini band circuit. So I'm gonna do one circuit with you. And if you find that it's easy, you're gonna do two or three of them, okay? But you're gonna do those extra circuits on your own. Now in terms of how often I do this, uh, this workout, I'll do it two to three times a week. I'll often use this as my warm up before I do a big workout or even just before I go to yoga, all right? So, are you guys ready? Welcome to Short Circuits. Let's get sweaty. All right, I'm gonna start my timer. Your feet are gonna be wider than hip distance. We're doing sumo squat to stand, so we're gonna hip hinge, sit the butt down, lift those arms up, and press up. Let's just make sure that your knees are tracking with your toes. Your glutes are squeezing on the way up. Your abs are engaged. And you don't have to go as fast as I'm going if it doesn't feel comfortable. Remember, this is your workout, so you go at your own pace. All right, we'll just finish that one to bring the feet together. Take the arms at sh to shoulder height. We're gonna hip hinge, we're gonna do airplanes. So we're really lifting and squeezing the glutes here again. And uh, the reason I'm doing this one barefoot is that we need to have strong feet as well. So I'm working on all the muscles right up the chain from the feet to the hips. Working on balance. Beautiful, all right. We're gonna step to the side and reach opposite hand to foot and then come up a little bit of balance here. Reach. And then if you want to, you feel like you're ready, you can lift that heel. So strengthening the calves, very important. Same thing to the other side. So reach, bring the feet together. When you're ready, little heel lift, maybe. All right, come to the top of your mat and you're gonna step back into a plank and we're gonna march. And we're just gonna stay right here. So strong plank. Nice long spine, lift and squeeze. And then we're gonna bring foot up to the outside of the hand, and then we're gonna press back into down dog. Press. Other side, press back. Try to look forward as you bring that foot in. And this is number six, so we're gonna finish this and we're gonna do it all over again. So come on up, feet wide, toes turned out. Reach, hip hinge, sit, arms up, press up. Sumo squat to stand.
Beautiful. Arms out. Airplanes. See if you can get your body and your leg parallel to the floor. Now we go into the side lunge, knee lift. And I'm gonna try that heel lift right away. to the other side. And heel lift if you're ready. Almost there down into a plank and we're just gonna march so make sure those hands are right under your shoulders you're squeezing your glutes so a little bit of hamstring activation here as well definitely some core work And then we're stepping it up and pressing it back. Look forward, look between your legs. Drop the knee. So tight hip flexors and strong quads can contribute to back pain. So this is a really good one for releasing those hip flexors. Beautiful. I'm using a fairly, a fairly uh, hard mini band. When I say hard, it's thick, so there's quite a lot of resistance. So you're gonna have to pick one that works for you. But since we're using, we're using the mini band on the legs, you want to have one that's that's pretty tough. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is banded glute bridges. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna wrap the mini band around the top of the thighs. And you're gonna lie on your back and normally feet are in parallel. This time I want you to turn your toes out slightly. That is gonna engage the glutes just a little bit more. And you wanna really resist. The band's pulling your knees together. You wanna open up those knees and really fire up the glutes, okay? And I said we're gonna be doing quite a lot of reps. We're gonna be doing 30 reps of each move. And remember, I'm just showing you one round, but you're gonna try to do two to three if you can, all right? So we're gonna lift and squeeze. There's a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt going on here. So you're trying to keep that back flat. So you can look forward. That can help to flatten things down a little bit and really isolate those glutes. I believe that's number five, six, seven. I know it's helpful for you guys to hear me counting, but sometimes I make mistakes when I count. So I think that's 10. Squeeze. I'm gonna count every five, so that should be 15. We're halfway there. Lift and lower. And that's 20. 10 more. I'll count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, they better be burning, two, and one, awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna hug my knees, and my chest, round out my lower back just a little bit, give it a stretch. And then I'm gonna rock up, I'm gonna keep the band where it is, I'm just gonna adjust my transmitter. And we're gonna be doing clamshells next, so lying on your side, all the way down. Knees are right in front of your hips and legs are at 90 degrees and you're gonna try to keep your heels together. So you're gonna open up and down. And two and down. Squeeze and down. That's five. And that's 10. Keep going. Try not to let your body roll back. Keep those abs engaged. I believe that's 15. And we're at 20. And I'm gonna count down last 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So rolling around, and we wanna make sure we set up properly. So all the way down, knees in front of your hips, 90 degree angle on those legs, heels together, and here we go, lift and squeeze, one, and lower, two, three, four, five, and I'll count every five from here on in. That's 10. You might hear some cracking or popping in your back. That's normal, well, normal for me anyway. I think that's 15. <sighs> 20, last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees in a, in a tabletop position. We're gonna be doing bent knee hip extensions. So I'm gonna take one side of the band and place it underneath my opposite knee from the leg that I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna support myself with hands under the shoulders. I'm gonna really engage the core here to protect my spine. And then I'm gonna bend that knee so it's at 90 degrees and the foot is pointed towards the ceiling. And we're gonna lift up and squeeze one. You can turn that toe slightly out. Lift and squeeze, that's five. Eyes down. That's 10. And that's 20, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful guys, now we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So sometimes the band gets a little bit twisted. I'm just gonna jump up and kind of straighten it out a little bit so it's a bit more comfortable. And then I'm gonna switch sides. So anchoring it on the opposite, under the opposite knee. Supporting, bracing, and here we go. Remember you can turn that foot out slightly. 
Lift and squeeze. It's impossible not to feel these ones. That's 10. Fifteen. Twenty, last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I can feel the sweat pouring down my arms here as I do this. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is gonna be from a plank position and we're gonna need the band around the ankles. So you're just gonna hop up quickly, readjust, and take the legs out. You're in a strong plank and this one is a lot of core as well. So we're just gonna tap that leg out to the side and bring it in. And we're doing 30 on each side again. So that's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll count every five from here on in. That's fifteen. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. That's tough, so if you need to take a little break, you can sit back in child's pose. Stretch it out a little. Take your time with these. You can always pause and jump back in, okay? So now we're back up, and here we go. Other side. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees down. Stretch it out. I am super sweaty. I cannot believe how sweaty I'm getting with this. Mind you, I have some pretty bright lights on me, so that might explain it too. But it is a lot of work. All right, we're gonna bring the band back up. Try to smooth it out as much as possible, and then Right, I've got my dumbbell over here. So you can do this one with or without weights. This is a sumo squat banded, a banded sumo squat. And uh, I'm gonna bring the dumbbell up. And toes are turned out, feet are a little wider than hip distance. But we're gonna do this one really slowly. So this is like a four, three, one rhythm. We're gonna come down, two, three, Four, gonna hold for three, two, one, and pop up. Down, two, three, four, hold three, two, one, and pop up. And did I say we're doing 10 of these? Because that's what we're doing. Three, two, one, I think that's three. Down, two, three, four, three, two, one, that's four. Down, two, three, four, three, two, one. Push up, that's five, we're halfway there. Three, four, three, two, one. Push, down, down, down. Hold, three, two, one. Seven, down, two, three, four, three, Two, one, eight. Down, two, three, four. Keep opening those thighs. Two, one, nine. We've got one more. 
three, two, one, and push. All right, so that is the circuit. It's pretty tough, huh? And uh, obviously you can make it harder by using a band with a little bit more resistance. Um, I'm gonna do the stretches now. Couple of stretches that I like. Um, gonna be lying on your back. Both knees are bent, feet on the floor. I want you to cross one foot over so the ankle is just below the knee, kind of the middle of the thigh. And I want you to reach back, it's called thread the needle. So just pull it in. But what I want you to do is think about the leg that you're holding on to. Try to line it up with the same shoulder. So if you're holding the right leg, try to line it up with the right shoulder, the right hip, and just pull it in in that direction. And you're using your elbow to wedge that knee out a little bit. So we're gonna hold it here. Probably good idea is to hold it for 45 seconds to one minute. So we're just gonna hold it here a little while longer. We're probably around 30 seconds now. And I'm just gonna hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. And same thing on the other side. It's also helpful to flex the foot. I should have said that before. That will protect your knee. You're gonna pull it in. And remember, you're trying to line it up. So don't let that knee cross the center line of your body. You wanna keep it in line with your shoulder and your hip. And you're pulling it in. You can interlace the fingers, whatever feels good for you. You can use a strap here, a towel. And I keep forgetting to flex this foot. It just wants to relax. So flex it, keep it engaged. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna rock up. And I'm gonna come into what looks like a modified pigeon pose with my shin almost parallel to the top of the mat. But I'm just gonna let my back leg, leg bend into what they call, they used to call a hurdle stretch, in my day anyway. And um, this one's a little bit awkward. You're not looking to to stretch out over your leg, you're actually just looking to, to reach up through the crown of your head, lengthen out through the spine, and you should feel this one in your glute. You're gonna feel a lot of stuff happening over to the left side of your sacrum. And just keep lengthening here. You're gonna try to hold for 45 seconds to one minute. Try to let go. There's, a lot of tension in those legs. Try to let it all go. And I have very, very tight hip joints, so my flexibility is pretty limited here. You might be able to walk your hands a little further to the center, but I've got to do what feels right for me. You do what feels right for you. So kind of lean, but keep that spine long. Okay, let's switch sides. So try to get into a position where you can kind of relax. This feels super uncomfortable for me. Everything is tight, so think about lengthening through the lower back, right up into the back of your neck. So you're, you could drop your chin down a little bit, get some length through the back of the neck. And we're staying here for that 45 seconds to one minute. And I'll count down. Last eight seconds, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for choosing short circuits, for getting sweaty with me today, and for working on having stronger glutes. Very important. Can really help to alleviate some types of lower back pain. If you found that doing it once, that workout, just doing it once was enough for you, just stay there a couple more times until you feel more comfortable. Then you want to try to aim to do it twice and then ideally doing it three times is what you want to go for. If you're finding that it's easy when you do it three times, then you need to have a mini band with a little bit more resistance. So go get yourself a thicker mini band. And um, remember you want to do this two to three times a week. You want to do it before you work out so that your glutes are fired up and activated and ready to work really hard in whatever workout that you're doing. And um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Short Circuits. New workouts are posted on Mondays. If you're enjoying the channel and enjoying the workouts, you want to click the like button, you want to share. Until next time guys, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.